Okay, everyone. Hi, guys. My name is Sachibola Gray. Welcome to... Uh, we're going to have a great time today, a very, very great time. We're going to have proper time today, great time talking about, um, you know, a lot of things that I think it's important to us, especially me, myself. So, guys, my name is Sachibola Gray. Welcome to the live session on uh, sponsored by Stambik IBTC. Today we're going to be talking about what you should know about mortgage for pension contributors. Uh, this this webinar is proudly sponsored by Stambik IBTC. My name is Ajibola Gray once again. I'm a legal practitioner, a social media influencer, a content creator. I am a realtor, a caterer. I am all everything that I need to be. And I have really, you know, important people with me today. I have great speakers that are going to talk to us today as regards the topic. Uh, I will be introducing them right about now. I have with me first Iritiola Lawal. Iritiola Lawal, hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. Good afternoon, Ajibola. How are you doing too? Very well. I'm very well. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can. Loud and clear. Okay. So everyone, Iritiola is the head product Stambik IBTC. I also have Adirunke Adesoye with me. Adirunke. Oh, yeah. Adirunke, hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. Good afternoon, Ajibola. Can you hear me? Can you really hear us? Yes, I can hear you, Ajibola. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll stop for a couple of minutes. Please introduce yourself to the audience. All right, thank you very much and good afternoon. I am Iretiola Lawa. As Ajibola said, I work for Stambik IBTC. I'm privileged to head the um, products section of Stambik IBTC Bank under the consumer and high net worth section. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. All right. Thank you, Rachel. It's good to have you here. I don't care if you turn to introduce yourself to our audience. Thank you, Jola. Can you hear me? I can hear you very loud and clear. Great. Great, great. My name is Aderonke Adeshoye. I currently head the home loans unit for Stambik IBTC Bank. Um, it's a good time to be here with you, and I look forward to sharing insights about our business with you all. Thank you. I look forward to hearing all about your insight. I'm, I look forward to hearing everything and ask your questions because, well, I really hope that at the end of this, you know, webinar and this live session i hope that i would my hopes of you know i've increased and my chances will be there so we'll go straight to the questions we have some questions i need to ask here now so i'm starting with tiola uh, i think this is the, 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 the top question the one that you know everyone wants to hear about yeah i don't care you can mute your mic so when we but when when I, when you materialize some of the question, then it would move to you. So I don't care. Me materialize your question. Your first question: What is mortgage, and what is specialized mortgage for pension contributors? All right. Thank you very much, Ajibola. Okay, a mortgage, in simple terms, is a loan used to finance the acquisition of a property. And usually, the borrower re receives funds from the financial institution for that purpose. The unique difference is that the property that is being financed 
is usually used as collateral for such a loan. Now, there are two parties to a mortgage transaction. The applicant, who is the borrower, that is called the mortgager, and the finance, uh, financial institution, which in this case will be Stambik IBTC, is called the mortgagee. All right, so having said that. Now, the specialized mortgage for pension contributors is our own way as a financial institution in responding to the PENCOM guideline of allowing pension contributors to access certain portions of their funds towards the acquisition of a home in line with the government's ambition to provide housing for workers within the country. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ritiola, for answering the question. I know that being a legal practitioner myself, I Thank you so much, Ajibola. So basically, the first step is to determine your eligibility for the mortgage before you start looking for a property. And the reason why we say we should start from the eligibility is because this gives us um, information that are important regarding the mortgage application. Now, the eligibility check basically helps to know what you can afford as an individual who's interested in going into a mortgage transaction. It also opens or gives you an idea of what the minimum deposit or minimum equity contribution will be vis-a-vis -vis the value of the property that is desired. And if perhaps there would be a need to make changes to that um, desire. The eligibility check also gives us, it gives you as an individual that opportunity to know what your monthly repayments over the plan will be and what changes will need to be done when necessary. And finally, it also gives you an idea of the tenor based on your age as regards how much time will be available to repay the loan. And basically for you to actually have access to that check, you can, we, we th there are various ways to actually do that. Um, you could either visit our website. Um, we have an interactive and user-friendly user calculator on the web page, which can also give you um, insights around these parameters that we've talked about. And should you be the kind of person who would like a face-to-face -face meeting, you could also walk into any of our branches close by and request to speak with a personal banker. And that would also help around um, how you want the mortgage structured. So you can even speak far and beyond what the process is as the case may be. And should you desire that you would to send us an inquiry via email, we also have mortgage consumer by that come in. 
So once the eligibility check is done, is sorted, is agreed, is fine by you as the individual, the applicant, as well as the bank, then the next thing will be to start the search for a property and then the journey begins. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Adorinke. Well, being the being the, the vintage and old man that I am, I would actually prefer to go to the bank to talk about something this important. I don't, I don't think I want to read all about this on the, on you know in my email. No, no, no. I want to go to the bank. Let, look at me. Let me look at you. Explain it to me like a five year old. So yeah, I I I really really love I really really love the idea. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Adorinke. The next question is for Ibetiola. Ibetiola, yeah. So this question again, like I said, this I mean, I'm looking at these questions, and you know, they look like the question that I would want to ask personally. So, like I said before, everybody wants to become a woman, or you know, young people want to become a woman, so that I don't want to wait till I have millions of naira in my account. That's why I like this. I love our audience. I'm telling you, you're following well. I know you're getting the details. So, is there a maximum amount I can access on this loan, and how much time do I have to pay? This is for you, Victoria. All right. Thank you very much, Ajibola. So, this is a tricky one, but the simple answer is yes. There's a maximum amount, and also there's a maximum tenor. All right. So, but with respect to the maximum amount, is a function of your cash flow or your earning power. There's something we call in, installment to income, which is something that responsible financial institutions like us use as a guide to ensure that we do not encumber all your free cash flow. So it's usually pegged at one third of your earnings, of your monthly earning, and it is with that that we are able to calculate what the maximum loan amount will be per applicant or per mortgager. Having said that, there's also this portion of it which drives your maximum tenor, which my colleague Ronke did allude to. So the maximum tenor for our mortgage loan is actually 20 years. But this 20 years is actually subject also to the age of the applicant. So when an applicant is young like yourself, a jibola less than 30, or for purposes of illustration, we'll put you at possibly 30, we can no, do up to I'm a maximum of <laughs> okay, 25. 25. So we can do a maximum of 20 years for you, which means that you'll be exiting the facility at age 45. But for few of us who are more than the, the band, let's say a 50-year-old applicant, would be able to do only 10 years. So the overarching um, guidance there is that by age 60, the applicant would have exited the mortgage facility. So would note, maximum tenure is 20 years, however, subject to age at exit of 60. So depending on where you enter in your journey, that actually drives the maximum tenure that you have while also your purchasing power drives the maximum loan amount that you can take. And Ronke had already drawn our attention to the fact that we have a user-friendly calculator on our website where you can simulate and play around with what actually you can take based on where you are in the journey. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ritiola. Thank you, thank you so, so much. You answer that uh, appropriately and once again, the one that is so important to me is the fact that I want our audience to understand what we're saying. I like the fact that you know, they're breaking it down to things that make everyone understand. I don't care. The next question is for you. The next question is for you. Are there specific questions to put for when applying for the specialized mortgage? The question again, are there specific locations locations to look out for when applying for the specialized mortgage for pension contributors? Okay, I got that. Oh, so again, that's also um, a usual question that we get um, from interested prospects. As we all know, everyone deserves to buy that 
dream home at a location considered my choice, good choice, great place, great location, whatever. And to answer your question, we would say yes. Um, there are specific locations that you can look out for um, when applying for the specialized mortgage as, as applicable with all other mortgage transactions. For us as Tambic IBTC, as a mortgage lender, we are always excited to help interested individuals concerning their mortgage transactions um, to help them buy their dream home. However, it is important that that property that is on the table for the mortgage transaction must be such that has a registered title and more importantly, the current owner must have evidence of legal ownership to that property. Thank you, Ajibola, back to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I don't care. Ibetiola, this next question is very important, especially to we young Nigerians. I mean, considering the Japa culture, in quotes, the Japa culture, you know, people trying to relocate out of the country and all of those things. So the question is, uh, uh, is very simple. Can an application be submitted by proxy in a situation where the applicant has relocated? Can an application oh. be submitted by proxy in a situation where the applicant has relocated? Okay, thank you, Adibola. It seems that you are just loading me with all the difficult questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a very tricky one. And the answer is yes. And as I would also say with a caveat. So if an applicant does not reside within Nigeria, but has regular cash flow within Nigeria to service the facility, why not? So this is also to take care of our colleagues who, for one reason or the other, are working out of the country, but have regular cash flow within the country because ultimately you want to be able to take on a facility that you, you can service and recall my earlier clarification around what a mortgage is the usually the financial institution will take the asset that is purchased as collateral for that facility we're a responsible financial institution we look at your cash flow once you are able to provide and um, we're able to verify that you have cash flow to meet the commitment of the acquisition definitely we will welcome all our japan colleagues thank you thank you so much so people in the audience that you know are worried that because they are abroad and all they can ask you can please you can stomach ibtc provides for all of us and it was you know they let us do everything we want thank you so much retiola the next question is for adironke I really hope our audience is following. I I can I can see the you know I can see the comment section. I can see that people are following. That that really makes me happy. I don't care. Are you here with me? Okay, yeah, I can see you now. Thank you. Yes. So the next question is for you. Can the specialized mortgage be used for rent payment or completion of an ongoing building project? Can you take that again, um, Ajibola? Okay, 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 okay. Can the specialized mortgage be used for rent payment or completion of an on, of an ongoing building project? Okay, I got that. Um, so basically, the specialized mortgage solution is predominantly used for the purchase of completed homes through um, the mortgage transaction, as we've talked about. And unfortunately, it cannot be used for rent payment, as you asked, or for the purpose of completing um, an ongoing um, building project, as you've asked. However, should we have um, individuals who are interested or have those specific type of needs, we also have other solutions that we can offer that can also help them achieve achieve that um, that goal thank you jibola 
Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Adirinka. Thank you so much. Iretiola, the next question is for you. And at this point in time, Iretiola, maybe you are very correct. May, just maybe you are very correct. <laughs> so your question is, can my spouse apply for part of this or RSC balance towards the end of the all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, the answer is yes. There can, we take on joint applications. All right. So you and your spouse can apply. All right. But however, each applicant, husband, wife, must meet the eligibility criteria that my colleague Ronke did mention earlier independently for us to be in a position to combine their financial muscle. So each applicant must meet individually on their own, then we can combine for you to access something that is larger or bigger to actually meet your desired home. So yes, we do take on joint application from couples who are legally married. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rachel. You answered that like it wasn't a difficult question. It seemed like a very difficult question to me. I thought we were going to take a lot of time, but that was so simple. Thank you so much, Rachel. I'm already mastering the act since I know that you are <laughs> asking tough questions. So I'm getting myself enough energy <laughs> so, uh, to deal yeah, them. And, and also, I'm, I'm very impressed with the audience. They've been sending in their questions and you know people are really paying attention to this people people really want to be homeowners that's that's a very proud thing to say i don't care the next question is for you and this is a personal question for me this is a personal question for me i don't care are you with me so i don't care okay so while we're waiting for i don't care um to everyone in the audience to everyone watching I would like you guys to take note of the email address and phone number just right below the screen here in case you have further inquiries to make just you know check the email address on this at the bottom of the screen at the phone number this i don't care here with me i don't care where is i don't care who Okay, so while I'm waiting for doing um Iritiola, you would have to you'd have to answer your next question while I'm waiting for doing care. Can I combine my pension savings with my husband's savings to purchase a property or do equity on a property? Okay, so I think that's related to the other one. Yes, spouses can yes. combine yeah, uh, yes. So it's related to the first one. So the answer is capital, yes. But like I said, each applicant must meet the eligibility criteria individually to be in a position to combine. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Is I don't care back here. I think something is wrong with the network. I don't care here. I don't want to bombard you back to back. I don't really want that's to fine ajibala i'm okay i think so that's for the okay, benefit okay. of our audience okay, very good. Until so she's able to come back yeah let me yeah. get your own next question then is there an option for joint application if yes what happens in case of death of one of the applicants well fine okay fine. all right so we already answered the joint application the answer is yes okay so in the event that the unintended happens, which is the demise of one of the applicants, okay? So as part of the documentation to ensure that we're able to um, provide comfort for the applicants, we usually request for life insurance on the borrower. And now, depending on how it is that we've um, solution for because each applicant is taken on a case by case basis. So, where it is that you have joint application, there's usually the main applicant and there's, there's co applicant. So, typically, we do take life insurance on the main applicant. All right. So, if the unintended happens on the main applicants, the proceeds of the insurance will pay off the entire loan facility. However, there are certain situations where you take, where we 
recommend that we take life policy out on both applicants. So depending on how it swings, so whoever is no longer available, diseased, would have their portion of their loan repaid. But where also there's a situation where the main applicant, okay, the co-applicant is the one who is diseased and there's no insurance on the co-applicant, what we do is to restructure the facility so that we're able to spread the burden for the primary applicants. So depending on how it is that we've structured, because each customer is taking based on what their peculiar circumstances are, and we try to tailor made, make our solution to suit the unique circumstances of each of the applicants before us. So yes, there are options, but we do not pray to get to that uh, situation. But when we get to the unintended, definitely we're responsible enough to ensure that um, the financial situation of the borrower at that point is not in any way worse off. Thank you. I love how you answered this question. I hope I don't care is back now. I don't care. Can you hear me? Can you can hear me? So you tell like, what someone from the audience asked a very, 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 very I don't want to care. Don't mind my village people. They can't catch me. Hmm. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be back. You know, before I ask your questions, I was about to ask uh, you to allow one question. So someone asked the question that I don't know how I did it. Yeah, but please, who does the search for a property, the bank or the person who wants the home? Okay, so um, I don't want to use my legal hat because when you say search, we talk about search confirmation of titles at the land registry. Yes, so I'll break it. Yes. So for the legal search, we have um, a panel of um, lawyers within the bank who would undertake that at the cost of the borrower. Okay. And we're able to negotiate uh, reduced costs. So the customer is able to benefit from the fact that we've negotiated reduced costs from the solicitor. So that's done. However, for search in identifying the property of choice, so there are two options. Ideally, the applicants would have sourced their ideal home and they come to us for financing. But however, also, we do have collaboration with some property ag aggregators where, where you are not able to get property of choice, we can point you to that direction where you will be able to select from the suits of available homes within the property aggregators bouquet. So either way, ready for business. Thank you. Thank you so much, Imitiela. Thank you so much. I don't care. It's time for you to answer your questions. I'm going to give you your questions back to back. As you're finishing one. Wow. Another. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. It is on standby. It is on standby. <laughs> But yes, you missed a couple of questions, so I'm just going to go to them. So someone said, I have less than three years to my retirement. Can I still assess this loan? Okay. So the question is, I have three years to retirement. Can I access the specialized mortgage? Okay. So unfortunately, that would not be possible because um, those individuals are actually exempted from accessing um, the specialized mortgage considering the fact that they have three years towards their retirement age. Thank you so much. So technically, I mean, it's people like us. We in our uh, mid-20s, you know, uh, mid-20s, early 30s. I mean, I'm talking about me, myself, I'm mid-20s. I'm 25, like I said earlier. So this is more appropriate for people like us. Just starting Perfect. Now, starting to enjoy perfectly Perfect. beautiful. Thank you so much. So, I don't want to your next question. Is this home mortgage in any way linked to the National Housing Fund? The National Housing Fund is, to answer your question, they're not. They're two separate loans. The National Housing Fund is a federal government funded loan scheme. 
and which is available to all Nigerians that are in active employment as of today. And basically for anyone interested in accessing those funds, they can only do that through the primary mortgage institutions. However, the commercial banks, though exempted on this scheme, are also approved mortgage lenders and they can also provide mortgage services to interested individuals. I hope that answers your question, Ajibola. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you so much. So, well, we are done with the questions that, that we have, but then we have questions from our audience. We have questions from the audience. Yeah. So, this particular question, I would be throwing it out. It's not for anyone. This particular one, I'll be throwing it out. Okay, so this one is for the So not for the one. I like, I chose it for you. I'm looking for questions for you. Yes. Somebody said, I visited a branch. All they did was ask me to update my verification and then referred me to a primary mortgage institution. No explanation, nothing. So the person walked into a branch, no one took yeah. the inquiries, and oh, just yeah. it. And all they did was ask me to update my verification and referred me to a primary mortgage institution. Okay, so basically, we don't have, unfortunately, we don't have enough information to actually give feedback on that. But it would be nice if the individual is actually listening. Kindly send us an email on the address you can see on the screen, and we'll pick it up from there and come back to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't care. So that leads me to uh, reminding the audience once again that for further inquiries, you can send, um, you can send an email to the email just right below the screen or you can call the number there thank you so much i don't care the next question is still for you i don't care i'm not letting you go off yet yes I'm not, let you please I'm be not careful. letting you go off yet you have please one be more careful. And I'll go to you. i don't have your application yet so you have to tread carefully please be careful okay well you'll answer this one first <laughs> please go so, on is the loan restricted to those that use Standard IBTC as salary account? You mean the specialized mortgage that we yes, talked about? Yes. Yes. No, the the product is available to all new prospects, existing family friends, you know, counterparts in professional fields, everyone who's qualified. Mm. Okay. is eligible okay. to to participate in that whether okay. you're salaried or whether you're a business owner provided you meet the eligibility criteria then we'll go ahead to start because i was because i was about to tell you that i don't earn salaries i am a content creator we, we have a package for, we have a package for individuals like you business owners fantastic package look just talk god. to me just look talk at to god me. Look at God. Content <laughs> creators, so we have a package for you. Talk to me. I, I, I love it. I'm happy. I'm very elated. I am very happy. You, you will see me. You will see me soon. Me, I'm not sending. I come anymore. with your friends as well. I, I'm Ooh. coming with my family members, my cousins, my neighbors, everybody. We are, we, we are moving out of the trenches this year. So, we see like the next question is for you. Can my retirement savings be used to fund my home loan abroad? Oh, oosh. <laughs> Not at this time. Okay. Why, why? Not at this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Not at this time. We're on a journey, I'm sure. Sometime in the future, not so distant future, we will get there. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. You will tell us, sorry, this question is for you too. Okay? I'm feeling somehow because I'm asking questions back to back. You went through a lot earlier. That's it. Okay. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> this, person, this person says, I have plots of land. Can I access your mortgage loans? Okay. So, um, going by the definition of a mortgage loan, where you use the property that you are acquiring as collateral, plot of land is not the property that we're acquiring so we will not be able to solution on this but we're a financial institution so we can definitely give you other forms of financial accommodation so please drop us a chat we're here for you we will solution appropriately to meet your needs thank you 
Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I, I hope members of the audience are paying attention to this, and I hope they're answering your questions correctly. For further inquiries, please don't forget to send an email to the email address below the screen or call the number going right below the screen. This next question is for Adirunke. Does Tambic IBTC have housing developers to work with so that documentation in quotes won't be a problem? Most documents demanded are not available by the developers in the market. I can understand that quite frankly because I'm a realtor, I understand that. Okay, so um, to answer your question, um, we do have a process at the beginning of the mortgage application and depending on what um, title documents are presented to the bank, we're able to take a decision or provide um, advice on a way forward or if there are certain changes or updates that are required on that. Um, so for us as a mortgage lender, basically, we would exercise our right to do a due diligence on the title document and where the due diligence report comes back satisfactory then we're able to proceed but in instances where the documents are complete or not fully registered those may constitute delays in the process so we expect that upfront whoever is going to, um, whoever desires to go into a mortgage transaction, basically, must ensure that the title documents are, in quote, acceptable, which means they have to be registered, they have to be complete, and they have to be documents that can be easily verified with the um, relevant authority, as the case may be. I don't know if that answers your question, Ajibola. Yeah, he answers. I mean, he answers the question because I mean, I understand even better. You know, being a lawyer and you know, realtor, it's it's such a privilege to be a lawyer. I don't know how to explain that, but I feel I feel I feel special because I'm um, understanding this easier. And members of the audience, don't be jealous. I I they are breaking it down very simply, and I hope you guys can also you know understand this properly. You will tell that the next question is for you. Can siblings have joint application apart from that of spouses? Okay, so under the specialized mortgage, no siblings cannot, but we can solution differently, even if it doesn't come under the specialized mortgage. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Retella. I don't care. This one is for you. Someone said, do you raise mortgages for commercial properties? Or I can I didn't hear you, Ajibala. Could you take that again? Oh, okay. Okay, can you hear me now? It's a lot better. Okay, thank you. Do you raise mortgages for commercial properties or buildings? Do we raise mortgages for promotional properties? For, no, for commercial properties. For commercial, commercial properties. properties. Okay, so mortgages are actually for residential units and this specialized mortgage is with specific emphasis to residential units. However, should the individual desire to buy, I believe the commercial properties that is being mentioned would be the likes of office premises, shops and the likes. Um, we can also um, match existing solutions to those needs outside the specialized mortgage solution that we're talking about here yeah even personally i felt like i feel like i could i feel like i can answer that one yeah if we tell like this your question so i really feel like i can answer it as well maybe you should maybe you should no 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 let's not do that i was just kidding just 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 <laughs> kidding just, just kidding but yeah you may feel like the question says, I have okay. about 17 years in my retirement. Can I still access the specialized mortgage of a house? Definitely. So we're assuming that this, um, uh, the question, the person who is asking the question is like 43 years old. So the answer yes. is yes, you can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you see why I said I could have answered because yeah. I, know that, <laughs> I know that when, when you're like 50, you have 10 years. 
Yeah. Yes, right? yes, they were paying see, attention. That was a yes. attention. Yes. Thinking, I'm very serious with this thing. I want it's to, our students. I'm applying very serious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, okay, this question is for you. I think I can answer it as well, but I'll leave it to you to answer, you know. Uh, not to take your shine or anything, but yeah. Uh, what are the what are the documentations you need to access the loan? The documentations required to access the loan. Access the loan. Okay. So um the first thing is you the individual would need to get um an endorsed statement from the pension fund administrator. Um, in addition to that, the, the applicant would be required to complete um, a mortgage application form and also, more importantly, get an offer for sale letter for the property to be purchased from the seller. Now, that letter speaks to a description, a quick, a, a brief description of the property, the value, the location and payment details at times on that letter and then all other basic information that we need that are not um, different from any other personal loan or loan application that will be required by financial institution would also be, re be, be demanded. So we're talking about other documents like pay slips, introduction letter, um, account statements and the likes to support the application. So in summary, those are the applications that will be demanded or required for an individual who is salaried and earns an income on a monthly basis. Thank you so much, Adirinke. Uh, this next question is for Ritiola, and I have no idea how it's been come to me all day long. God bless the person. Jagun Kolaku, I have a special gift for you personally. The person <laughs> said, can properties outside legal finance? Yes, definitely. Yes, we can finance because, okay, recall that the essence of this is to provide homes for hard workers, all right, people who are sweating it out day in, day out. So we're trying to ensure that you have a home to come back to. So the 36 states of the Federation to the extent that the property you want to acquire has a registered title, meaning that the person selling is able to transfer valid title to you, the answer is a capital yes. Thank you so much. Not me thinking this was just for us Lagosians. No, 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 no. no, no. The person that, the person that answered the first question. Thank you so much. This one is for this one is for Adel, okay. Can I access this specialized mortgage to take care of non smoking units? Could you take that again, Ajibala? To take care of what? Can I access the specialized mortgage to take care of non mortgage needs? Unfortunately, no. It has to be for the purpose of purchasing a residential unit specifically. And again, no, we can look at other solutions for that particular need. We can look at other solutions for that. But for the purpose of the specialized mortgage, it has to be for a completed residential unit. Yeah, thank you so much. I figured this person probably wants to do wedding. Because, you know, <laughs> I don't know if I want to do wedding or buy a car or something. But thank you so much. We feel like next question for you. Can we tell you to access the specialized Okay, so no, a retiree cannot access the specialized mortgage because it would have typically been outside the maximum age band of 60 years. Also, the guideline says people three years to retirement would not qualify. So unfortunately, no. Uh, so we are, we are, um, well, I hope everyone, I hope everyone in the audience picked one or two things from, you know, this live session today. I really hope, I, it was very, it was very informing, it was very informing, it was very, I, I think I have very, you know, very serious knowledge about this entire thing with mortgage. Because to be very fair, it's not really something that's popular in this part of the world, it's something that's popular. And 
you know, we are pushing starting diabetes. And I hope our audience, I really hope you guys enjoyed the session. I really hope you are able to, I really hope we're able to answer the questions. Okay, so someone has a question. Someone has a question. Uh, I don't know if you've... Okay, we already answered this. We already answered this question. So, uh, is there, you know, some you know, something that you'd like to talk to us about? Just, you know, share with us briefly. Just leave something with us. Something that we can jot down and take away. You know, it is something, something light. Okay. All right, thank you very much. And thank you for um, letting us share part of your afternoon to the audience. What I can leave you with is everyone's desire is to own a home. We in Stambi IBTC, we are all about making your dream come true. So come in and take advantage of our all in all advantage solution where we can solution for you to meet your aspiration and at the end of the day you look back and be grateful that you partnered with stan in your journey towards owning thank you so we always say don't pay rent pay mortgage thank you don't pay rent pay mortgage that was very theatrical that was that was Oscar. That was that was Oscar level. That was very theatrical. Don't pay rent, pay mortgage. Don't pay rent, pay mortgage. Don't pay rent. Thank you so much, Latella. I don't care. I hope if you get your own you know, something light for us to go that way. You know, Latella gave us don't pay rent, pay mortgage. Let, I, want, I want to hear from you. I think our audience will want to get it. Thank you, Ajibola. So it's been a very lovely afternoon. Um, we're happy to share the insights of our business with you all. Um, we look forward to working with you on the journey to you being a, to you fulfilling that dream of getting your, your, your dream home. And basically we, I would like to say that we have the keys to that dream home Please talk to us today. Thank you. Ajibola, I can't hear you. I can see you're excited, but I can't hear you. Did oh, you hear me? I, did. I, I, I forgot to admit that. I was clapping for you. I was clapping. That was, that was, that was world class. That was, that was world class. We have the key to your homes. We have the key to your dream homes. Talk to us. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Retila. Thank you so much. I don't I, I, I we are really we are really happy to have you here to make some talent to you know, talk to us and educate us and inform us about you know this particular discussion, this particular discourse generally. We really, 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 really appreciate you. We are grateful. Thank you so much. And to our audience, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for for you know hanging with us for taking out you know minutes mean, over 50 minutes on you know Wednesday afternoon we know how we know how that can be thank you guys so much we appreciate you for being planted and uh, for more for more you know for more inquiries if you you know if you want more information you need to follow the team uh, and follow up with them there is the there is the link yeah exactly you can register via the Quartrix link it's pinned somewhere in the chat there you can register there for you know for more information and more updates and you know everything you need it was um a great time having you guys here my name is Achibola gray once again thank you again Iretiola. thank you again at the room care i had a good time and i hope i didn't bore you people i hope people had a good time like i said uh, i don't care be expect you said you would be expecting me in your office because i'm not sending email um correct I'm coming personally yeah thank you i'm coming personally I will become your homeowner before the end of this year. Definitely. I have to Lagos get stands. Lagos get stands. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you for staying with us. Have a lovely day ahead of you guys. Bye.